Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Anthony with another uh, sales video. Just going to show you what I sold on Friday. Um, pretty good day of sales. Had $329 um, grossed. But obviously, I'm going to have to use some of that on shipping so and fees. But, I mean, you got to pay to play. So, we'll start this one off with a $30 t-shirt. So, that was a nice little profit. This one I found at the Benz. Um, Probably paid under a dollar for it. It's a double sided Kobe Bryant Laker t shirt. I'm not a big Laker fan, but I love to make money off of them. So, $30 right there. I'll probably ship it to like somewhere in California. So, <clears throat> shouldn't have to spend so much on shipping. Um, next one is a Marc Jacobs dress. I like to keep it in the bags because they're all flimsy and. They get all wrinkly if they're not. Just the dresses mainly. So this is like a different type of diamond flower floral. I don't know. Whatever. I picked it up. I think I got it for like five bucks at the thrift. Um, I know I didn't get this at the bins, but I think I got thirty-four dollars for this. So it probably cost me like six bucks to ship. I'll probably make like twenty-five bucks on it. So that was a nice little find. It took me a bit to sell it. I think it took me like two months, but sometimes you forget about it and then you sell it and you're like, oh, hell yeah. So this was a nice little two piece. So these are the pants. They're like some uh, vintage 80s champion Cornell University pants. Here's the tag. So um, I got $100 for the two piece. So here's the jacket. This vintage uh, champion stuff is really hot right now, so I'd recommend picking it up if you find it at the right price. This was a two-piece, so I I priced it pretty high. It's it's kind of hard to find the matching sets, so <clears throat> that was a really nice uh, profit. I paid seven ninety nine for that, and I made a hundred on it, so that was super super nice. I was uh, really excited for that. Especially because the guy gave me a good offer. I think I put it at like 135 or something like that. Um, next up is a G-Star. It's a G-Star jacket, basically. $50 and... Yeah, $50 shipped. Um, found this at the bins. It was all faded and stuff. I don't know if you can see that. But, I mean, I put that in the listing. G-Star is a really good brand. Um, let's see. Here's the here's the tag in case you guys want to know what it looks like. So that's the that's the brand. That's the tag. They make really tight clothing. Like their largest for like mediums and so on. So make sure it has all the logos and stuff. I haven't seen anything uh, fake from them. So I want to be too cautious. All their stuff's pretty legit. Okay, next up uh, is a James Percy. It's a James Percy sweater. Um, I got $25 plus $5 shipping for this. So I should make a good $24 straight off of this. Crew neck, gray sweater. Like I said, I can't really do anything with the lighting. It's all good. All you guys need to know is the brand and make sure you're finding good condition. Uh, so yeah, 25 bucks on that. That was pretty good. <clears throat> Here's another James Percy. This brand does well. I put this online. Both of those I put online yesterday, and they both sold within a couple hours. So keep a look out for that brand. Another James Percy shirt. This was a weird shirt. I was scared to pick up because it had such a weird color, pistachio. But it sold like super fast. So I ended up making seventeen dollars on that, and I think I'm only going to spend about three dollars on shipping because it's super light. So. All right, this is a uh, old navy jeans. Uh, made twenty three dollars on these ones. They're brand new. I found them at the bins. Um, picked them up because they were skinny jeans and stretchy spandex type, and they had the new tag with it. So I was like, why not? I bought them for like under a buck, probably. These are pretty lightweight, so I hope that I can ship them first class and make a good profit off of those. And then, <clears throat> last last off is the shoes that I found at the bins. I probably paid around, whoops. <laughs> I 
probably paid around uh, 40 not $40. I found these at the bin, so around maybe $3, maybe $4 max. Uh, these are Nike Air Maxes, up tempos. Uh, these are really hot brands. And well, Nike's a hot brand, and the shoes are hot, but the only problem was with the the glue on the toes. But that's why I let them go for so such little price at so quick. You know what I mean? I just want to get rid of them. <clears throat> Forty five bucks. I probably spent maybe four bucks on them. I'm gonna probably spend twelve to fifteen shipping, so I'll still make around what I don't know, fifteen twenty bucks. I'm still getting my money back plus some profit. So why not? And this kind of shoes bring you attention to your page because it's like, oh, this guy's got cool shoes, even though there's something wrong with them. They know that that's the stuff I'm looking for, so they're going to go to your page like, oh, let's see what else he has, and then he'll buy a shirt or something. Who knows? So that was a nice little uh, nice little come up. And then here's the grand total, just so that you know, I'm not kidding with you. There you go, 329 So hope you guys liked the video. Like, share, subscribe, or don't. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Let you know what the sales go uh, on Sunday and... Well, today's Saturday. Saturday and Sunday, I'll come back with some sales.